Hi everyone, welcome to our Luxury Home Channel. Today we're in Lithia, Florida, which is a suburb of Tampa. And you'll notice that when we go in, all the bedrooms have all the Tampa sports teams. We're in a community called Creek Ridge Preserve. It is a really nice community by West Bay Homes. The home behind us that we're gonna look at is a five bedroom, four bathroom home with 4,602 square feet of living. And the base price at time of filming, which is January of 2023, is gonna be $1,305,503. Now that's the base price, it does not include lot premiums. Now lots here are nice, they're large lots, um, and also does include the upgrades. This one has some amazing upgrades. One of my favorite kitchens here, and also the outdoor living, one of the largest pools that we've seen. So I'm excited to show you this house. So come ahead and follow me as we come up. Of course, we have the paved driveway. We come up to a three car garage. Currently it's being used as an office. So once they sell the model home, they'll convert that into a three car garage. We have the Spanish tile roof, really nice brickwork around the garage really nice ambience to the outside living. And of course we have the pathway coming into the entrance with some nice landscaping on either side. And of course the brickwork goes all the way around the entrance that's covered, nice fake blinds on either side of the windows. And then we come up to the covered area and the door. Door is a nice upgraded door with this beautiful glass and iron work. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this home by West Bay Homes. So as I come in, the first thing that we're gonna notice are the wood floors that go throughout the first floor of this home. And of course the entryway is very beautiful. On my left, we have wood paneling that is in white going all the way up to the ceiling. They are high ceilings. The ceilings have a tray ceiling, double crown molding, and also that same wood paneling going across as well in that tray. So before we go further in, we're gonna go ahead and go to my right, which goes into the office. The office has sliding barn doors, so you can have that for privacy. It's right in the front of the house, which is really nice for whenever we have deliveries coming to the house. If you're sitting here getting some work done, you can look out your window, see who's at your door, and go ahead and open it or not, depending on who's there. So this room is really nice. I like the colors, the color contrast between the whites and also the light blues. And then of course we, this one's all about, I think is it the Alice in Wonderland where we have the rabbit and the Mad Hatter. So decorated really nice interior designers did a good job here. We have our desk in the middle. And of course above us, we do have that tray ceiling, the double crown moldings and the wood planks going across as well. So it matches really good with the entrance of the house. So as Haley goes back towards the front door, and if you don't know, Haley is my daughter and she is filming today. We'll get a good view of what you see as soon as you walk in, which of course is the hallway going all the way out to the family room and the sliding glass doors going out to the amazing outdoor living area. And then as we continue to go and I look up, you'll see that that entryway design continues with that double crown and also the wood plank going over. Over to my left, to your right, will be a storage area and air handler. Usually I don't go into these because they're kind of small, but this one has the air handler way over in the back. And we have plenty of storage areas here for all your seasonal goods. So you have all that covered. That's only one of two big storage areas. And then over to your left will be two bedrooms. We'll show you those two bedrooms later on in the video. So follow me this direction. We'll go to our main living area. So this has your kitchen, your family room, a separate like reading area. And then we have a dining room. And then what you'll notice here are the high ceilings. And as I look up, we have the wood beams going all the way across from the kitchen all the way over to the sliding glass doors. So let's talk about the kitchen. This is in the kitchen that has won awards through the Parade of Homes and you can see why. It's one of the favorite kitchens that I've seen looking at all the different homes that we've been to. Uh, this would be highly upgraded by the way. So this is not your base model kitchen. Um, one thing that really stands out are the countertops. The countertops have whites, grays, and blues all through it, and it matches really well with the rest of it. We have a sitting area with four seats, so you can sit here and enjoy breakfast or dinner. It has a really nice light fixture above it. And then we elevate up to the center island. The center island has that same countertop, and we have a couple light fixtures over the center island and three seating positions over there as well. So coming into the kitchen, what you'll notice is all the colors go really well together. We have our stainless steel, we have our cream white, we have our navy blue, and all those colors match the countertops and appliances very well. We also have a white backsplash behind us, even all the decor blues and the cream colors throughout. So as we look on this side, of course, we have all the cabinets. We have a six burner gas stove top. These appliances are all cafe appliances. You'll notice that when you look at the different appliances, they'll have little gold symbols for cafe on it. This one has it right here. And then we have our air handler above us. On the other side, we do see that we have a sink. It's a farmhouse sink, stainless steel, a little bit below the counter. Of course, the faucet. And then on this side, we do have the navy blue cabinets. And then we have our cafe dishwasher. There's that bronze color that the cafe marking is on. Then as we continue, we go to the other side, we have our microwave, also cafe. 
um, plenty of space there. And then the oven, I love this oven. Instead of it pulling down, you just pull open and it opens to the side, which is a really nice feature. I think I want that in my house as well. Right behind me is the pantry. If I open that up, you'll see that they are fully stocked with drinks and snacks for anyone that wants to come and look at the model home. Now, if you are interested in looking in the model home, make sure you give me a call at 407-487-3030. Um, I'll either get you in touch with the sales rep here or be able to show you the home myself if you wanted to meet up with me. So we come over here, we do have a beverage refrigerator and then the main refrigerator, also cafe. This one has plenty of space and this one is fully stocked. Let me show you how well they take care of you when you come and look at this home. They have plenty of drinks, any type of drink you want, sodas, waters, Gatorades, even alcoholic beverages. So everything that you sort of need if you're coming and looking at a model home on a nice sunny hot floor today so follow me this direction we'll go ahead and go into the family room so as i come into the family room you have a seating area and then you notice that there is another seating area behind it but the one thing that really stands out as we come into the family room has to be the accent wall this stonework is absolutely amazing going from the floor to the ceiling of course the tv mounted in the center definitely like that and all the decor and as we continue through we see the navy blues that go really well with the kitchen and that same sort of blue and white color continues over to what I would say is the reading area. This is sort of nice that everything's facing away from the TV so you get away from all the entertainment you're actually able to talk to people. So this is a cool little space as well. And then right across from that is your dining space sort of goes back into the wall here. We have a seating area for eight, light fixture above us, three windows for some natural light and also crown molding above us. So let's go ahead and check out the bonus room on the back of the home. So as I come through here, we come into the game room and they currently set it up as a game room. They have brickwork on the wall that's painted white. And of course we have a pool table, a couple light fixtures. We have th three windows looking out onto the pool and outdoor living area and the sliding glass door that goes out to the pool area as well. As we leave the game area, we'll go back into the family room, but we see the sliding glass doors. Sliding glass doors go out to the outdoor living. We have the covered area, jacuzzi, pool, and outdoor living area that we'll show you later on in the video. It's one of the best outdoor living areas that we've seen. Right in front of me are doors going into the primary bedroom suite. But before we go there, let's go ahead and go left and show you the pool bath. So as I come into the pool bath, we have a towel closet, and of course the cabinet in white, countertops, a really cool floating sink, faucet, mirror that's framed with white, and of course the light fixture, have our toilet. And also what's really neat about this is the shower. The shower has these really cool frameless sliding doors that open and close up. And then of course in there we do have hexagon tiles with whites and blues that look like little flowers. And then the tile that goes up are light blues, dark blues with whites looks very rustic as far as the design of the tile as well. So come ahead and let's go ahead and go to the primary bedroom suite. Let me go ahead and open up these French doors and go in. We have a big mirror in front of us and then we can go either direction. We can go to our left or our right. Let's go ahead and go check out the bedroom first. Let's come in here. We have some really nice plush carpet, king size bed and table on your side. We do have three windows, two looking out in the backyard, one on the side yard. And above us, we have a tray ceiling with the double crown molding and the color the white wood planks that go all the way across that tray ceiling. So let's go ahead and check out the bathroom. I really like this bathroom. We move from the carpet to this tile. I love the tile. I love how the colors go with the, with the tile. And then we have our towel closet right next to that are the cabinets. The cabinets are in a cream color. It looks antique as far as how they have the design going. And then right above it, very modern countertops with whites and light grays with little sparkles throughout as well. Go really good with the faucet. Of course, the mirror that's framed with stainless steel frame and a light fixture above us. We have our closet right next to that. And then right next to that, we have another duplicate cabinet with a cabinet, countertop, and the mirror, just like we saw on the other side. Adjacent to that is the tub, is a garden tub, really nice garden tub, very large size. And of course we have the window looking out. That tile work that we saw on the floor goes all the way on the wall, all the way up to the ceiling on this side. And that goes all the way over into the shower. The shower is an amazing shower. I step down into the shower. The first thing that you're gonna have to notice are the pebble floorings. Really beautiful colors going all the way throughout. We have a little bench to sit down and of course a couple of shower heads above us. So right next to the shower is the water closet. And then we have the main closet. The main closet has double doors coming in and we have plenty of space for all your clothes. It goes all the way back. So plenty of space here. Now, of course we can add extra shelves so you can store a lot of things in here, but it's pretty big the way it is already. So 
The next two things would be the bedrooms, the two spare bedrooms that you start at the front of the house. Now, if you are anywhere in Florida, Georgia, or Tennessee, and you're looking to buy or sell a house, well, there's a starter home or a luxury home or a mansion, whatever you're looking for, even some commercial properties, make sure you give me a call at 407-487-3030. Either myself or one of my partners throughout the area will be able to help you. It just depends on what area it is. I get you in touch with the right person with the knowledge and experience in their area to help you. So let's go ahead and show you bedrooms number two and three. So I come in through this way. This is bedroom two. You'll know all the bedrooms, the interior designers did it based on all the Tampa Bay sports team. This one's about Tampa Bay Lightning. We have a really nice uh, accent wall with that same wood plank going across, crown molding above us, and of course the light fixture above us as well. So right next door is going to be the bathroom, the bedrooms two and three share. So as I walk in here, we see we do have the navy blue cabinets nice countertops and of course we have the mirror that's also got the stainless steel color frame around it light fixture this one does have a tub with the tile working all the way up and of course a window for some natural light and then right next to it is the bedroom number three this is all about tampa bay rays so now we're into the baseball we have that same wood planking but going vertical instead of horizontal in this room with the crown molding above us also a fan and the window looking out in the front of the home so next stop laundry room so follow me this direction and we'll go right past the main living area so you get a really good shot again of the kitchen and family room. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe to our videos, especially if you like looking at luxury homes. We like to try to find the best luxury homes in Florida, Georgia, and Tennessee, and hopefully other states as well. And if you're a listing agent looking for maybe getting your listing some exposure, give us a call too. We'll be happy to feature your listing on our channel as well. So here we are. This is the laundry room. This door goes into the three car garage, and then we have plenty of upgraded cabinets in here. We have our sink, of course faucet, all the cabinets, and then we have the tile work on the back. The tile's got some pretty cool designs in it. The cabinets continue all the way along the wall with our washer, dryer, a little space here where you can fold clothes, and then the window looking out to the side yard, even a cool little dog decor. This door goes through from some extra storage under the stairs, and then we even have some extra storage space on this side as well. So follow me this direction, and then the stairs are right to my right, so I'll see you upstairs. All right, so here we are on the second floor, but before we take you on a tour of the second floor, talk a little bit about the stairs themselves. The stairs are wood stairs. We do have these beautiful wood railings and metal inserts. And then of course, as we came up, we had a landing and we had the same wood paneling going all the way up to the ceiling with that huge window for natural light here on the landing. So let's go ahead and go to our left and show you what's down this hallway. So as we come through here, we have a space for our air handler and then we come to a bonus room and this is a really cool bonus room. It's quite large. So as we come in, we have a sitting area or movie area brick walls that go all the way around, continues past these windows into a sitting area where you can have a dining set or you can play board games. And talking about board games, the interior designers went all out as far as the wall decor with different games. They have Backgammon and Scrabble and even Connect Four on the walls as we're going through this area. And then we come up to a bar. The bar has some really nice black cabinets, white countertops. We have a sink with a faucet and even a beverage refrigerator up here. The backsplash are done in little tiny hexagons that are in white and black. I really like it. And then we have the cabinets above us that are all lit with the floating shelves as well. So really cool little bar area as well as we come up on the bonus room. So let's go ahead and go to our right and take you to the other two bedrooms. So the first one is to our right. Now we had the hockey, we had the baseball. So here is the Buccaneers, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So it's all set up for that. We have our bed, couple end tables, a nice window looking out to the side yard and the accent wall done in brick. We even have the closet on the other side as well. So let's go ahead and go down the hallway. So follow me this direction. The first stop would be to the right, which would be the bathroom. So we go from the carpet to the porcelain tile, nice white porcelain tile. And then right in front of us is a cabinet. The cabinets are done with white, with black accents. And this countertop is beautiful with the whites and blacks. It looks like rocks going through it, really cool. And then of course the mirror that's framed in black and even a black light fixture above us. On the other side, we do have a tub and these really beautiful tiles that go all the way up to the ceiling in black and white. So let's go ahead and go right and take you to the fifth bedroom. It's currently used as an office, um, but this would be bedroom number five because it does have a closet. Now, we've gone through all the sports teams. The only one that Tampa doesn't have is a basketball team, so I guess they had to do something for basketball on the wall over there. But they do have the desk, and of course, 
plenty of windows for natural light on either side of the house and a closet behind us. So the only thing we have left is the outdoor living area, which is pretty cool. So I'll see you out there. We've opened the sliding glass door so you can see how the indoor and outdoor living combine into one. As I step out outside, we go onto some pavers. We have a seating area here for eight people. So plenty of space here to enjoy the covered outdoor living area. To my right is the door that goes into the pool bath. And then we have this whole area covered all the way over to the game room, which has the sliding glass doors coming out of the game room. So as we continue, we go to the uncovered area, but it's, this is all still screened in. We have our jacuzzi. So on a day like today, and it's cold here in Florida today, we're in our 50s, but in the sun, it feels pretty nice. We have our jacuzzi, which would be great for today. Beautiful tile work all around it. And then we have our tanning shelf. The pool continues as a fairly large pool. You can easily do laps back and forth and have a really good time on this pool. On the other side, we have plenty of space for lounge chairs. And then we see we have the elevated area on the back of the pool with the beautiful tile work. We have two fountains and of course the waterfall in the middle. And that's not it, it continues as we go out this screen door. We go out to our uncovered area, which is really cool as well. It's also elevated. Over to my right is a side yard with really nice landscaping. And then we have a pergola with a six person dining set out here. We can enjoy some nice refreshments. And as we continue, the pavers continue to go around and all the landscaping in a curved area. We have a fire pit with four chairs where you can sit out and enjoy the beautiful Florida weather. It doesn't feel like it's in its 50s, does it, Haley? It's like, feels like it's about 70 degrees out here with the sun on us. And then we have another elevated area in a round shape with this cool stone monument right in the middle and a little uh, stone bench as well. And we can also see all the side yard or all the backyard. So this house has plenty of property, a little bit unusual for Florida with new construction. A lot of times they don't have very big properties. This one does have a good size property. So if you're interested in seeing this or any home in Florida, Georgia or Tennessee, make sure you give me a call at 407-487-3030. And until next week, talk to you all later. Bye-bye.